It's a big day for Indian space industry today because Vikram S will be launched by the ISRO from its spaceport in Sri Harikota. Vikram S mission will be launching with three customer payload to an altitude of 120 kilometers above the surface of the earth in what is demonstration mission. Here's a report about one step up for India again. Historic day for Indian space industry. India's first privately developed rocket, Vikram S, would be launched by the ISRO from its spaceport in Sriharikota. Decks have been cleared for the four year old startup Skyroot Aerospace to make the maiden launch. Vikram S marks the foray of private sector into the country's space industry, dominated by the state-run ISRO for decades. The liftoff of the first Vikram S rocket has been scheduled at 11.30 am with the clear weather paving the way for the launch. The rocket will soar to an altitude of 81 kilometers after it is fired from the Satish Dhawan Space Center. The launch vehicle has been named after the father of the Indian space program, the late Vikram Sarabhai, as a tribute. The mission titled Prarambh would carry three payloads belonging to two domestic customers and a foreign client. The six meter tall rocket is one of the world's first few all composite rockets that has 3D printed solid thrusters for spin stability of the launch vehicle. The launch of the rocket is expected to demonstrate capability of avionics system in Vikram series like telemetry, tracking, inertial measurement, global positioning system, onboard camera, data acquisition and power systems. According to ISRO sources, Friday's mission would be from the propulsion center where sounding rockets were used by ISRO. The launch of Vikram S will begin a new chapter in India's space mission. Bureau Report, India Today. I don't read the news. I read between the lines to tell you the true version of events, the true story of our times. To document grief, the toughest assignment for any journalist to be. From those who matter. Women politicians gonna stick up for each other. Of those who should matter, I document the truth. I don't distort the truth. I don't glamorize the truth. I don't gloss over the truth. The ghosts of India's contentious medieval history have come knocking again. I hustle for the truth. On the ground, in the newsroom, in the I studio. I don't, I don't try to grab eyeballs. I inform you to make you see the point. To the point with Preeti Chaudhary. At these times, only on India Today.